Hi everyone, this is me, Moonlight Guidance. I hope you are doing well. This is a reading for all star signs. If you're here, I feel like there is a sign that you are meant to be listening to this and we're going to see what's coming through. Also, if you um, are wondering, this is always a very safe space where you are always very welcome. So let's see what your reading brings to you today. Got the Ace of Wands. That is great. Wow. Things are really like coming together and I know that this is something you've worried about for a while, you've been thinking about it, stressing over it, overthinking as well. Are things going to come together? Will things move in the right direction? Are things going to progress properly? And what I really do see here is that it's already starting. Um, the wheels are in motion and I also see here as well that your love life is going to come together because the card actually that was underneath it is the two of cups like they both came out like this face down and as soon as I picked up this this was underneath it so you are going to have a beautiful long-term healthy happy beautiful relationship that makes you feel so good okay that is what is going to come your way you are going to find yourself feeling so happy and so content I feel like you've been through a lot emotionally and sometimes you question things that come to you you question good things and think is this too good to be true is this going to fall apart is this person going to ruin my life oh my god like am I you know in a toxic situation where I'm being love bombed like there's a sense here of you sort of worrying about things that come your way because you don't want it to be another failure but I assure that you are going to have so much happiness and you will not you will not question it okay so that's what I'm seeing here um, right now, I feel like you're at this crossroads where you don't know where your life is going to take you and you're sort of thinking so much about the future to the point where you're thinking like, oh, even if someone comes to me, I don't know if I'll even like them. Um, and you're worrying yourself about things that haven't happened yet. You're worrying yourself about situations or dilemmas that haven't actually happened. You haven't even got to that bridge yet and you're already trying to cross it. And so the universe really wants you to not do that and to take things as they come, which is really hard to do sometimes because, you know, of course, on one hand, you're thinking about the future and the things that you want, but on the other hand, you're living in the present moment and the present moment and appreciating the present moment is what allows those future beautiful moments to actually flourish. So if you're always focusing on the, the future, you're not living in the present. That doesn't work with the law of attraction because the law of attraction means knowing what you want, right? Which is future, future, but being okay without it and living in your present moment and accepting where you are currently. Flourishing, understanding the things that are working for you right now rather than focusing on future things. Of course, you can have goals and dreams. Of course, you can have this want and desire for future things, but constantly focusing on that and then getting sad that those things are not happening right now is what will keep you in a rut in life. And that is not something that you want, okay? It's not something that you want. You do not want to be feeling like you are stuck in a rut where things that you really want are not happening, but it's because you're then sad that it's not happening right now. You know, right now you have to focus on accepting. That is how the law of attraction works. It works with gratitude, okay? Your life, I feel it's not perfect right now. You know, it's not exactly what you want right now, but if you constantly focus on the things that are not perfect, you get more of that, okay? I'm not saying that you have to be positive every single day. It's on accepting what comes every day, whether it's good, whether it's not so good. It's about accepting and making peace with it. It's not about being like, oh, that terrible thing happened. Well, I must be happy. No, no, because, you know, that's not emotionally very validating. That makes you then feel worse, creates that cycle again. It's about accepting, okay? Acceptance is part of also healing. When you accept what has happened, you are then no longer necessarily in denial. When you are not in denial, you are accepting. Acceptance is a process, okay? So don't be too harsh on yourself if you can't accept where you are right now, okay? As time goes by, you will accept. Sometimes the universe will force you to accept certain things that have happened as well over time. And it comes with time. So that's the three of wands, okay? But that's what I really see here, especially with the page of pentacles. There's a sense here of you accepting, feeling stronger, things getting better in your life. And I know that things are quite difficult for you and quite challenging. It doesn't always feel great. doesn't always feel happening, happening, you know, but it will happen in a positive way where things come together for you. You will feel 
stronger, you will feel happier, you will feel better. And we've also got here as well the nine of pentacles. This is confidence, this is security, this is you feeling great with what you have got, okay? Nine of Pentacles is seen as a singular energy. This is you. You, aside from whether you are a mother or a father, whether you are a sister or a um, brother, whether you are a daughter, whether you are a son, whoever you are and all of those relationships that you have to people, whether you are a friend, it's about who you are within yourself and feeling strong within that first and foremost and accepting your circumstances which makes all of your other relationships even stronger. If you want to make your relationship stronger, make the relationship with yourself strong first. This is the nine of pentacles. That confidence, that security within yourself allows everything else to flourish as well, including your finances. So we see here with the king of cups this is your pathway and this is your way to feel strong to feel more connected to yourself if you find it really hard to feel strong to feel good or to be on that healing path i do offer healings and rituals for this which work on your energies so that in time you start to feel better within yourself on your path there is the detachment ritual which pulls more energy towards yourself which also works with the law of attraction because detachment is healing and acceptance and that also then can allow you in your day-to-day -day life to focus on yourself but for also things to get better so that is on my website shopmoonlightguidance.com and link down below if anyone is ever interested there's also rituals for self-love for you know healing codependency if you are emotionally dependent on what other people are saying or doing and then in your day-to-day -day life you feel either happy or sad because of what other people are doing that means that you are codependent on them so working on fixing codependency working on self-love um also you know feeling uplifted and strong you know there's the full body chakra cleansing which helps with mood vitality and energy there's also the shadow work healing which helps with trauma right trauma grief sadness heartbreak if you've been through that so there's lots of different rituals if you're ever interested but the main thing here is you okay and i think that in this world we always look for how we can help others how we can be towards others how we can uh, help others do this do that you know there's a neglect towards yourself that can also happen but helping yourself is by far the most important thing okay so and that leads to the abundance the happiness the joy everything coming together in the way that you need it to be ten of pentacles is literally everything it's a happy home it's beautiful relationships it's love it's fulfillment it's understanding between you and another person it's you feeling happy you feeling secure it's about your energy and it's about a, a sense of completion you know so right now you feel like your life isn't necessarily complete but the more you try to find that completeness within yourself because that's the nine of pentacles it will lead to the ten of pentacles it's a gradual graduation gradual graduation it's a gradual it's a gradient no that's not the right word it's you get my point nine to the ten of pentacles it's from like one to the other like it's a step forward it's a step towards that summit <laughs> that's what i'm seeing so this is literally what we have but um let's get some more cards out here and see what's going on three of cups queen of pentacles okay so three of cups queen of pentacles really powerful energy this just absolutely does go to show especially with the queen of cups and the three of um sorry queen of pentacles and the queen of cups that you will find so much satisfaction and happiness within yourself that you will start to attract people that are very like-minded towards you as well not people that weigh down your energy but people that lift you up you will start to find that low vibrational people will exit out of your life and then high vibrational people will come into your life that means friends it can mean co-workers you know people will start to flock towards you who are good for you that people that help you people that understand you people that respect you compliment you um really get you and you will start to think to yourself wow like wow these people are the kinds of people I've always wanted, but I had to be at this energy level in order to attract these people. So it's about working at your energy. It's about loving yourself, being there for yourself, um, prioritizing yourself and accepting where you are in your life right now that then 
allows that high vibrational energy to build and that then allows everything to flourish in your life and we've also got here you know this number 10 it's a real sense of completion we also started with the number one as well okay so if you see tens and ones it's a big sign here number one is about you you are number one right number one is self yourself so this is your reading if this resonates with you comment down below the heart emoji all right or a heart um <laughs> and that is the affirmation for yourself you know it's it's that heart and that love towards yourself and don't forget to like and subscribe check out the description box below for all the information on personal you know services i offer personal tarot readings there's rituals on there like i mentioned there's also as well intention items which thousands of people have seen results with bracelets necklaces anklets pom-poms tassels candles sage bundles teas you get my point so many beautiful items check them out if you are interested everything is always linked down below for your convenience i also have tiktok and instagram i post short readings on there every day moonlight.guidance on instagram moonlight guidance on tiktok and i'll see you all very soon bye